Hey everyone, Jason here, back with another episode of First Impressions, the series where I take you guys down trails for my first time and share my thoughts and experiences. Now, keen eyed observers might notice that uh, it's the Whistler Bike Park behind me. I've obviously ridden these trails a bunch of times, but I haven't ridden them this year, and it's opening weekend, the trails are ready to go, and I also have a very special guest with me, Bike Park Supervisor, Pete Matthews. Hey, how's it going? Pete, how's it up there? It's amazing. It's, uh, yeah, opening weekend as you said. Bit, a little bit of rain on the first day, but the last two have been really sunny, really, really good. Got the trails running really tacky. Nice, yep. nice. So Pete's gonna give me a little bit of a tour on what's good and what's new and what's fresh. Yeah. Um, what can we expect? Some B-line? Yeah, some... B-line, A-line, I think. Uh, Schleyer, maybe? We'll, we'll mix it up. We'll ride a bunch of different stuff. Single track, jumps, berms. Perfect, I like everything. Cool, so enough talking, let's go ride. Let's do it. Sweet. All right, Pete, where are we going? We're going to go to Beeline. It's kind of one of our flagship blue flow trails. A lot of awesome berms, a lot of action going on. It's really fun. Uh, yeah, let's check it out. Feels good to be back in the bike park again. Ooh. A lot of nice flowy rollers in here. Dirt is amazingly tacky right now, considering it's the middle of May still. It's actually also around 20 degrees Celsius, uh, which is also very warm. Wow, jeez, very warm for this time of year, but great biking weather. Oh my goodness, feels like you're in a washing machine in all the best ways possible. And also, keeping up with Pete is not easy. What a great big berms in here. Awesome for finding your flow for the day. Couple nice jumps to practice on. Starting with kind of a cool bridge. Oh yeah, nice and tacky in here. Ooh. Wednesday night skills area. It's good for practicing your moves. There's a couple more advanced moves in here too. There's a pre-hop coming up that you can do. I feel like we're gonna see Pete take a gnarlier line than the blue. Oh yeah, there he goes. It's actually quite the aggressive hop. Into the woods here for some cool corners. Wow, nice and dusty in here. Feels like July almost. And then it finishes off with, you guessed it, nice turns. This is a great trail. If you don't think you're ready for A-line yet, we want to go a bit bigger than some of the jumps on Crank It Up, you got options here. Nice little nose bump from Pete. Oh my goodness, the berms right now. Right on. That rides us out here back to the village. Oh, yeah, dude. Good warm up. Let's go down for another one. All day. Yeah, let's 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 get into something a little trickier. Oh, it's gonna be interesting after a winter of not hitting big jumps. Nice little drop. I have a feeling Pete's going to do a good move here. Yeah, that was cool. Uh, I'm not going to do that on the first try. Oh my god. It's just so smooth right now.
Just big berms, nice jumps. Definitely one of my favorite trails. Oh my goodness. That's more than I've had in the last eight months. But it's kind of weird. Because even though I think Every year I'm not going to be able to do this. It just like comes back. I feel like my body keeps the muscle memory throughout the winter. Also, Pete's officially got. Here's the famous rock drop. Little nose bunk. Come on, here's like the big jump at the end. Nice one, Pete. I saw you take your hands off there, you lunatic. Yeah, stretch things out early in the season. Don't want to have anything stiffen up on you. All right. Lower A line. Oh my goodness, Peter. Nice floaty hip jump. Big old roller. And this one kind of transfers to the right. Forehead to the village jump. Woo! Nice. Lap two done. All right, Schlair. Take me down. This is, oh my goodness, a jump. This is probably one of my favorite tech trails in Whistler. Just because it has a variety of everything. There is actually some jumps, some drops, and uh, rock faces too. Yeah. And also some really nice fresh corners here. You can jump that bridge if you want. Or if you pee, you can just hop up all the way down the rock face. This one has about a thousand lines on it. But just down the center is usually the best. And off the drop. Couple jumps to finish it off here. All right, into the lower Whistler downhill here. The fadeaway. Then we'll go into uh, Detroit Rock City. Big old drop. I'm screaming off that. Do a couple jumps or this upper section here. This is an old downhill course. It's got some cool rock moves in it. Just a classic single track, technical stuff. Lift up to a nice right hand corner here. Monkey hands. I rarely take this track. I feel like it's a bit of a hidden gem. It is. We just did a bunch of uh, concrete work on it actually to try to maintain some of the tech. 
Entering in here, you take this high line, get up, and here's some of our new concrete work. A bit of uh, smoothness in here, to the woods. Wow, that's uh, definitely touch your brakes on that trail. Pete, I think we deserve a beer. I think so too. We earned it. You want to go GLC? What's a GLC? Yeah. All right, that wraps it up. Another episode of First Impressions. Yeah. Pete, thank you so much. Yeah, no problem, man. That was that was awesome. That was a good three laps in the bike park. Awesome three laps. Yeah, we. Uh, Kind of gave a little taste of what's out there and yeah i'm excited for the season ahead yeah, definitely cool well that's it for this one cheers, cheers. see you guys in the next one <laughs>